What up guys, it's your boy Adobo. Today we're gonna do an install and review of these carbon fiber swing arm covers for the 2015 and up Yamaha R1S, R1M, and R1. Check it out. So the first thing you want to do is kind of clear off the area on both sides. Uh, I went ahead and uh, wiped down the swing arm with some denatured alcohol. If you have swing arm spools um, for the 2015 R1, there's two spots for spools or I have these uh, GP lifters. So I had to take it off because there's a spot right here for the bolt to go to, which is right here. But if you have a rear spool, you just want to move it over to the rear. But all I did was take my stand and put the stand on this side where there's no spools. So that way I can uh, mount this back up, this uh, GP lifter. So you're going to want to go ahead and do a quick test fit. Make sure it uh, lines up good. Basically just slide it in and push it on. It holds on pretty well. Um, obviously it's not a completely flush fit because of the way they molded it, but you're gonna find spots that touch a lot easier. For example, like these two spots seem to be holding on pretty well. And that's where I'm going to uh, either use this 3M double sticky or the uh, ultra black gasket maker. I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm going to go with this 3M double stick, uh, just in case I need to take it off for whatever reason. It'll be a lot easier than uh, trying to get this gasket maker stuff off. But if you do use this, actually, if you do use this, don't use too much. I'm going to stick double stick tape here and here, and then there'll be a third mounting point right here, and I think that should be good. We'll see. Now the reason I didn't put any on the bottom is because obviously water is going to collect and I really don't want anything stopping the water from draining out. So I didn't put anything on the bottom. This will hold the bottom good enough I think. Yeah, it should. Actually, there's one thing I did want to mention. So a lot of people are probably going to get these to help protect the swing arm from scratches. But honestly, when you ride a motorcycle or when you've been on motorcycles for a long time, scratches are going to happen, especially on the swing arm. Um, just rocks and debris and stuff like that. But just mounting it, trying to mount it, it pretty much scratched up the swing arm, which is fine, whatever. It doesn't really bother me. The reason I even got these in the first place was just to cover up that big old scratch on the other side, so.
Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lower this, put my lifters back on and should be good. this uh, swing arm cover. Um, for me, if I didn't have a big old scratch from this uh, exhaust bolt, I probably wouldn't put them on because I definitely like the uh, silver swing arm. There's just something about the uh, like the aluminum or, or brushed uh, look of a silver swing arm that I really like. And um, like I said, I, I personally wouldn't have done it if I didn't have that big old scratch to cover up. Um, but as far as protection, wise goes like i said uh putting them on actually does scratch the swing arm so i don't know if you're protecting it from those kinds of scratches like i said those scratches um are kind of ine inevitable when you're riding a sport bike so um i think they would definitely protect any crash from big gouges like the one that i got so it's really just up to you if you like the carbon fiber look you know, the, the aesthetics are, are really nice, they're pleasing. Um, for me, it's just a little, <laughs> I think it's just a little too much for this bike. You know, I got the Graves carbon three quarter here with the carbon hanger, and then on top of it, this carbon swing arm cover. And then my SE Composites uh, tank shroud is carbon. This is carbon, so yeah. Um, that's it, those are my final thoughts, man. If, if you guys think these are worth it, I would say go for it if you like the look. If you want a little bit of protection from a, from a slide, definitely go for it. Um, if you like the uh, look of a silver swing arm like me, um, I would say don't do it. Um, but really it's all personal preference. For me, this is just how it's gonna be for now. Um, a new swing arm is gonna cost me 800 bucks. I could probably sell this swing arm and get, the, uh, get a new OEM swing arm um, in silver, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So all right guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content It's George um, <laughs> If you enjoy the content go ahead and subscribe hit that notification button and uh, leave me a comment as always You only get one life stay humble. Namaste. Peace